morning everyone welcome to another episode of endless seas fishing here with my beautiful fiance caitlin Hello. and the, the goal today is to get caitlin onto a spanish mackerel i asked her what fish does she want to catch last week fishing bucket list fishing bucket list <laughs> gt cobia spanish mackerel so pretty much of anything big I got it. <laughs> yeah. And it's winter here in Mackay, so it's a good time to target Spanish around the islands. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I actually expected way more boats to be out. We've got seven kilometers an hour this morning. Wind and 10 kilometers in the afternoon. And even Willie reckons it drops in the afternoon, so I don't know, it's a no-brainer to be heading out, but glad the ramp's not busy. Did you have a few words, my love? I'm ready to catch some fish. <laughs> ready to catch some fish. Yeah. Well, let's go do it. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> So we're heading out, but we've been distracted by tuna. <laughs> Caitlin hasn't caught one before, so it'll be epic if we get her onto one now. Let's test that drag, hey? Okay. All right, give that a cast. Okay. Babe, look, they're right there. Really yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> That's perfect now, just wind fast, yeah. but hold on. That was a really good one. <laughs> oh, you're on. Good work, babe. Hold on. Oh, babe. You did well, very well. <laughs> Caitlin is on. Wow. I'm gonna loosen that drag a bit. Is it too tight? I'm gonna leave the run. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's under the boat. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Um, it's just because you got hooked so close. Close, yeah. When he goes out there, I'll drive out this way a bit. Well done, babe. Well done. Those rods are quite in the way, aren't they? <laughs> Hold on, don't. Do you want a seat? So we're only like not far from the harbour there. You're doing really good. everywhere in this boat. Yeah. He's coming up. Yeah. I need you to stop fighting. How do you feel? 
bit tired, but it's hard. <laughs> Oh, look at him. What is he? I don't know. Is that a Spanish? Wow. I think you got a really good mackerel. <laughs> um, so gaff that then. I keep winding. Yeah, keep winding. Oh, no, he's a Mac trainer. He's still going. Yeah. I fought for a long time. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to have energy for that Spanish yeah. later? Ah, uh, I'll have a braver first. Wow. Done really well. <laughs> he just keeps going. Alright, swing it. Just swinging this way, use the rod. Oh, that's good. Wow, your first tuna though. Yep. Well done. Wow. Hey, fishy! <laughs> that was exciting. <laughs> you can put that in a holder over there. Well, unfortunately, you're not tasty, but never mind. Oh. I thought he was a mackerel <laughs> when he was deeper. All right, you grab that tail. Yeah. Taking a video of you. Spiky? Nah, not spiky at all. <laughs> Hold him up, Timmy. This way. There you go. Up. Oh, look what they're eating. Look at that garfish. Fresh one. It's time to say goodbye to the tuna and time to head out and catch the mackerel, which is what we're actually after. Caitlin on the wheel here. While rigging up a few lines. So this island here is gonna troll some lures past that headland. We've caught about five Spanish there before, mostly on jigs. But yeah, we're gonna troll, and if we see them come up on the sounder, then we can drop some jigs down, but at least we're hunting, seeing where they're holding up first while still having lures out the back. So on the overhead, we've got this Rapala. Cool looking lure. I think it's about a 10 meter diver, so massive bib on it. And on this one, we got this Samaki pacemaker. It's about a six meter diver in that yellow fin color. Both lures handle pretty high speed and for mackerel I like trolling fairly quickly. But yeah, let's check them out and see what we can get. Shows me the depth, 10 meters, babe. Yeah. 
so that means that lure I had is right in that zone where the other one's a little bit higher, which they'd come up and hit it anyway. But sometimes they're down in like this zone, 20 to 15 to 20, so if your lure's up there, they might not see it. No, it's hard to wind them in because they swim. Unless it's come off. It still has something. <laughs> yes, they have a lot of resistance because the lure is swimming, diving. It just like feels a lot easier. Come on, Might have come come off. Nah, yeah. no, it's on there. Oh, you got a Spanish babe. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, well, yeah. that's a good one. Right up. Um, yep. Slow it down. Yeah. Just right there. Look, look oh. how big that is. Oh, he's nothing. Oh, he's just hooked. I got this gap out. All right. Let me stop. Just pull the rod that way a bit. Whoa, your first Spanish, babe. Wow. We're out to get him. Uh, I'm going to open the bow arm, um, but I can't figure out if it is. Yeah, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't want to touch that. You know it. You wound that in very easily, didn't you? No, it was so easy to wind in. Like just like a bigger rod. Oh. Yeah, and oh. Catch your um, first Spanish babe. Excited. <laughs> Thanks for helping me. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. That is beautiful. It's one of my favourite spots to be. So we're gonna uh, try and anchor up close to shore and got some blue bone to cook up. Big 53 centimeter I caught yesterday with some friends. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be delicious. It just drops off, doesn't it? A lot, like. Yeah. Oh mate's come to join us on board. Got himself in a mischief there. Oh, Stuck in the um, bars. Mate, we're not gonna hurt ya. Wonder what he wants. Hey. 
just come along for the ride. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> you got better see like an embo. We're <laughs> just um, casting around these um, coral reef flats. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Some little plastic and this cool little critters grabbed it. It's a nice coral tree out. I don't think he's legal at all, but um it's very pretty. He's like 33. Beautiful trout. There he goes. Like if you only um, it's relaxing to not do any, but oh, what what's that? <laughs> it's like a little Spanish <laughs> on the plastic. Where? Wow. Yeah, I think so. Has it got numbers? Yeah. I think I got the hit on that. Wow. We might need that net, though. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's amazing when you come into the shallows. Sometimes that's where the little fighting. Spanish. Yeah, a little one. Am I gonna get him in there? Yeah, just put that. I'll swing the head into it for you. If it doesn't bite me off. <laughs> See, as long as the line is on that side, I'm fine. But if it crosses over, you're right. Oh, I nearly snapped my rod then. Alright, it's coming in. There you go. And then just put him on the ground. Cool, thank you. Good job, babe. Baby Spanish cool. on the flats. On the little um, four inch paddle towel. <laughs> oh, he's cute. <laughs> he's cute. <laughs> Just in here. Little Spanish. Good work, babe. Video the release. Yeah. I'll just shoot it in the water a bit more. Like that, yeah. There we go. Well, thanks for watching another episode. Hope you guys really enjoyed that one. Caitlin and I had a really epic day getting onto a First couple of fish, what were they? Uh, Spanish mackerel and mac tuna. Yeah, Spanish was maybe six kilos, and the mac tuna he cast, hooked that at the boat, and wound it in all by yourself. <laughs> Exciting. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Endless Seas if you want to see more fishing videos. Thanks, guys and girls. We'll see you in the next episode.